Architectural Builder Supply is pleased to present you with this recording of the technical question that is listed in the title of this video. This call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. Are you there? Oh, I'm there. Sure. What can I do for you? All right. Here I'm looking at a door. Oh, hold on. All right. Um, I'm on your website. I'm I'm needing a price out a door, and a pick out a okay. door, and then order this door. Okay. Okay. I'm having a problem with the jam depth. Okay. In our building, in our building, we've got uh, steel studs with five eighths on both sides. That comes out to be five inches. But the jam depths that you have are all four and seven eighths or five and a quarter. You don't have five inch. So tell me the thickness of everything that comprises your wall. Um, I got a steel stud and then 5 eighths drywall on both sides. How thick is the steel stud? They're steel studs. How thick is it? Three and five eighths? Oh, I don't know. You know what we did is we drilled we drilled one inch hole through the through the wall and then where the door is going to go and then just put a tape measure through it and it came out five inches. Okay. So if it's a steel stud, that would be a typical. So it'd be three and five eighths. So point yeah. six two five five eighths plus three point six two five plus um point six two five. You add up two layers of drywall and then a steel stud, and you're at four and seven eighths. Oh. Okay, well let me see. Five and five eighths plus five eighths is inch and a quarter. Inch and a quarter. Yeah. Three and five eighths, four and seven eighths. Yeah, I wonder how so, we're measuring five. Yeah, the only time you the only time you'll see five inch is when the wall when the when the framing is done and the drywall is put out either side of the wall on the studs. Then someone comes with a drywall saw and they cut all that flush back to the face of the stud. And what happens is as you're cutting it, you're tearing out the drywall a little bit so that if you actually put a tape measure on the end of the wall, it's five inch. No, no, what we did is we drilled a hole in the middle of the wall. Yeah, yeah. it's just the math. We, we drilled a one-inch hole all the way through, and it came out to be five inches. I understand. So something's off. Uh, the construction of the wall wouldn't equal five inch. Um, but if uh, maybe there's something else that's, then that has occurred to make it five inch. Something I I couldn't even guess. Uh, maybe there's uh, you know somebody wanted to deaden sound and put a layer of eight inch cork on the backside of something. You know, I, right? I'm completely guessing at. Um, if we you know, know what I, uh, you know, my question would be: if we were to order a door, how long would it usually take to get the door made and then to get the door? Uh, like shipped, we're up in Milwaukee. We have we have hundreds of doors in stock. It's common material that there's only a small amount of shop labor to do. Realistically, one to two weeks. Okay. Um, there's another question I have. It has to do with the. Let me see. What's it? The welding frame to be welded. Now the doors that we have. See, we're trying to match the door that we have now. And the frame, the metal frame, has no seams in the corners. So, would you guys be sending us a door with the frame and all the corners are already welded? Or do you guys send us the frame and then we weld it? We would send it to you the way that you specified. You can ask for it knocked down or you can ask for it welded. And in that case, the miters would be welded closed. Those welds would be ground. Yep and polished smooth and then uh, prime coat painted over. Got it. Okay. All right. Yep, that's that's what I need. Frame to be welded. Okay. Yeah, that's that's what I'm looking at. Okay, and it's metal studs, the Z anchors. Okay. All right, I got it. And we'll have to double check that because you know what, if we just cut out the opening we can just cut out the opening and decide whether or not we want to go with four and seven eighths or five and a quarter. You know, just go from there. Yeah, and plus, if, you know, you can order five inch. I mean, it's it will cost more, and it, the lead time will be longer. 
and you can get exactly what you want. If you're wallet, yeah, you guys don't have you guys don't have five inch, though. We just don't have it listed there because I don't know that in 25 years I've ever sold a five inch throat frame. You you can order it though. It's you can order anything you yeah. want. No doubt. But the stuff okay. that's fine is just the regular baloney. If you have indeed a five inch thick wall, do not order a four and seven inch because the frame the frame will tolerate a sixteenth of an inch, but not an eighth of an inch. It's going to make Everything operate really lousy. Right, right, right. And if it's if we order it five and a quarter, we That's can always shim it an eighth inch on each side, and then put some nice brown caulk on there, and you know match the paint something. You know, I would we could do that. But I would agree that could be done, but I would agree that you shouldn't do that. Yeah. That's unnecessary to have to fill that. Yeah. Okay. All right, so what I'll do is I'll I'll go and I'll double check our dimensions again, and then we'll go from there. Yes, sir. My name is Richard. Thank you very much. Hey, excellent, Richard. Thank you again. My pleasure. Bye bye. Okay. All right. Bye. Architectural Builders Supply hopes you have enjoyed this program.